welcome to the Lockdown Lookup, a daily devotion through the fruit of the Spirit. Today we get to a fruit of the Spirit that is very unique amongst the fruit and is also the fruitiest of the fruit. If you want to know what that means, then stay tuned for a little bit. So today we're looking at the fruit of kindness. Now what makes kindness unique amongst the other fruit is that it is the most outwardly visible I think of all of the fruit. So if you think about it, a lot of the fruit are uh, sort of inner dispositions or perhaps withholding of certain activity. For example, peace. Peace is this inner settledness, this composure, despite outer turmoil and craziness. If you think about patience, patience isn't really defined as much by an activity, by perhaps as not doing something uh, which we'll get into in the next couple of days but kindness is most certainly an outwardly visible fruit you cannot be a kind person and not do kind things a kind person will end up doing acts of kindness kindness is defined by an activity and so it is very outwardly visible whether somebody is kind or not. In fact, what's really interesting is that the first century Christians were kind of known as the kind ones. Isn't that interesting? That they were known on the outside by their kindness and it was linked to the idea that they were Christ followers. Now, part of this may come about because what's really interesting behind the word kindness is it's in, in the original language, it's the word Christotes, uh, which sounds, the Christos part sounds like Christos, which, yes, is the word for Christ or Messiah or Jesus. And so there's this little grammatical language link there. Uh, but just what's really interesting is that the, the Christ followers, the ones who follow Christos, were the ones that had this Christotis that was so visible in them that they became known as the kind ones. So I think that's what makes kindness so unique among the fruit. Now what about it being the fruitiest of the fruit? Well to get into that we're going to dig a little bit deeper into this word. So it's the word Christotis, but behind that word comes from two different roots. Uh, one of those roots means simply goodness, and the other one is integrity. So where does goodness and integrity lead to kindness? Well, let's start with integrity. So integrity is this idea of integrated or integratedness. In other words, what's happening on the inside is the same as what's being displayed on the outside. They're integrated. Now, if you think about if goodness is happening on the inside and you add that to integratedness, it means that what will be happening on the outside is evidence of goodness on the inside. And that's why kindness is this idea of goodness and integratedness. It's also why it's the fruitiest of the fruits. Because this whole metaphor of fruit is, well, there's the Holy Spirit inside of us that is hopefully growing as we are more open to the work of the Spirit in our lives, as we more intentionally walk by the Spirit. Well, then what should happen is that things happening on the inside should overflow to the outside. And kindness is exactly that. It's defined by that goodness on the inside being integrated with our actions on the outside now there's a passage of scripture that i think brings these ideas together for us nicely colossians 3 verse 4 says but when the goodness and loving kindness of god our savior appeared he saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness but according to his own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit whom he poured on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior it's just one of those couple of verses that includes so many amazing elements goodness loving kindness mercy Holy Spirit poured on us 
through Jesus, God saving us. It's all of these wonderful things. That's God himself. And as he saves us, we now live out how he has treated us. One of those ways will be outwardly demonstrable, visible acts of goodness expressed in kindness and mercy. May we all grow in kindness in this lockdown season and after it because our society, our family, our colleagues, the world is going to need it. May God grow this in us. Amen.